Hello my friends, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to finally take a look at the Kickstarter version of Hippocrates. So, this took forever to show up. Let's see what's inside this bulging box right now. Okay folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I keep building up my fan base. So, I did pay for the extra... Oops! I don't want to knock the camera here. I did pay for the extra um, little expansion to help out the shipping. And because of that, I got these three cards. So there they are. We'll see what those do when I learn the game. Like I said, the box is bulging here with components. Hopefully that shipped all right. Didn't get destroyed in the process. And this is the deluxe version. Had I known it was going to take forever to get the deluxe versus the standard, I probably would have just gone with the standard. But whatever, you live and you learn, and maybe they needed my Kickstarter money to make this whole thing possible. Who knows? Either way, I'm glad it finally showed up. All right. Opening it up now. The inside of the box doesn't have anything special on it. And we have a shrink-wrapped group of components so I am happy about that especially since this was bulging out good thing they shrink wrapped it does look like it got a little smushed in there but that's uh, hopefully the end of the the damage we'll say all right they did number the amount of punch boards which is good too so we know we'll get all of them let's see if we can get this open without scratching anything and let's hope that the shrink wrapping didn't cause or isn't caused for any warpage. You never know. All depends on where it was packed and whether the stuff had a chance to breathe or not. Okay, taking a look at the actual cardboard itself. It's got a gloss on it. It's definitely thin though. I would say this is not even medium thin. It, I'd say it's thin. This is some of the thinnest cardboard. I mean, it is cardboard, but you, anyway, all right, so um, so far the artwork looks colorful, which is good. Definitely got a slice of green stuff here. Let's just show it this way. So the, the icons look um, functional and the artwork looks kind of fun, which is cool. I like that. All right. Whoops, popped right out. Not too surprising. The darn things are thin enough. I'm surprised they stay together. And maybe that's why, and thankfully, smartfully, they did put them in that shrink wrap so that they wouldn't pop out and get bent or damaged in transit. I appreciate companies doing that when there's a risk for such a thing. Okay, so lots of components here. Lots of components. Almost done with these 11 player boards, or I shouldn't say player boards, but 11 punch boards. This looks like most likely the components for the actual insert, which I'm guessing is just part of the deluxe version, but I could be wrong. All right, so those are for the insert. Now, <clears throat> Looking at the rules here, rule book itself looks colorful, looks bright. Looking for some examples here. I do see some notes and some information. So hopefully those are some examples. I saw stuff for the solo game. Here's some information in a couple of boxes there. Yeah, as long as there's some examples, nothing, I, I don't see any says example, but that doesn't necessarily mean they aren't there. Just hope it's very clear on what to do. Okay, certainly a lot of pictures and such to hopefully drive things home. No specific uh, thing calling up the solo, but I did see a bunch of stuff in there saying like for the solo game, this and that and the other thing. All right. Now here's what the deluxe comes with, I suppose. So we had the bigger box, uh, XXL box with insert, an XXL game board, which is a little bigger. 
screen printed stuff and uh, paper player boards to cardboard player boards. So that's what we got. And then here's the instructions to install them. Okay. Now, here's the cardboard player boards. And I'm okay with those as long as they don't warp. These are thicker. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, this is the same kind of thin cardboard, but it seems like it's a, it's a little bit better, deal easier to deal with in the player board section. So there we go. All right, now we have the board. So this is going to be the big deluxe board, I guess. It is double-sided, and it's pretty large. Yeesh. All right, so this is definitely a big board. I'm assuming the double-sidedness comes from the different players in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm knocking the camera over and everything here. All right, hold on. We have to come around to the other side. This might be inconveniently large. <laughs> okay. So there it is. That thing is gigantic. Two, four, six, eight sections. So that's pretty big. It looks nice, that's for sure. But that's gonna take up the whole table. Plus we have the bottom section in there too. All right. So it's the deluxe, all right. Um, and I'm looking to see if it's obvious which side is for which players or anything like that. It doesn't seem to show. Well, either way, that's a big board, and I'm almost even concerned about folding it up wrong. Yeah, this is... Okay. We're good. That would literally cause me some strife if I ruined it in the unboxing. Okay, so then we have these wooden dice here, I guess they are. Kind of interesting. They're very light, so it's not like there's a lot of, bunch of half screen printed uh, components over here that were talked about. And then three bags of plastic bits. So these look like little, maybe like Erlenmeyer flasks or so in the blue. The green has some jars. You can kind of see that right there. And then these are kind of like vials of Maybe old-fashioned ointment or oil or something. All right, so my insert did get a little mangled, which is too bad. We'll have to fix that up. So they were able to solve that in the last one, but when you have a bulging box like that, um, I'm sure that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a little bit of a mess there. So I'll just have to fix it up. At least it's not torn, but it does have a couple of creases in there that are going to need a little, a little pressing. Either way... Happy it finally showed up. Very much looking forward to playing the game, seeing what it's all about. Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. I appreciate it. And for whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.